This is quite sad and horrible that over 287 puppies were adopted by bandits and terrorists in Kaduna State yesterday. What is your take on this? What is happening in Nigeria? Why is all this uh, uh, inhumanity being allowed in Nigerian states? Oh, let me say this. I keep saying it every minute, every now and then, anytime they interview me, that these bandits are governments. You don't expect this bandit to be ordinary people. No ordinary person can go and kill out 200. And, no, it's outrageous. Nobody can do that. No ordinary man can go and do that. But except the order is coming from a big man from the government that can do that. That would have passed information around. And the next thing, tell the police everybody should relax. And everybody will relax. That's just it. Let me tell you, if a crime happens anywhere and an unknown um, person happens to carry out the crime, the police will apprehend him. That one is sure. The police will catch him. But not when you are in government. When you are giving order. When you are giving order to police, they should not come out and ever giving order to army. And what's the next thing? The next thing is you do your operation successfully. That's how it goes. Honestly, I wonder how such operations could be successful. I mean, taking over 287 or more puppies. Uh, without any recourse, where are the securities? Are there no cause, distance cause put across? And the police are telling us that they are on their trail. What happens to these children traumatized, uh, emotionally uh, harassed, and sexually abused? And what have you, what is happening that a child in Nigeria is no longer safe? Let me tell you something. This country is a stupid country. We all know that very well. And all these police that are parading themselves as a police, you flush them out. Unfortunately, Tinubu is not somebody who listens to people. You flush all these idiots out. Bring in people that want to work for Nigeria. But these people are not ready to work. They are just ready to be collecting bribes all the days of their life. Even armies have joined them. Army, I see them collecting money uh, when you go to garage now. So I'm collecting 1,000 and those things. That, that's rubbish. To me, it's rubbish. I don't know where they got that rubbish from. But it's the sister we happen to have find ourselves in. So we just got to blend with it. And that's the truth. What I'm trying to say presently is that... We just got to blend with it. We just got to blame. What does, what does that mean? In a, in a sense, society. Yes, we got to blend with it. This is Nigerian system. This is our system of government. Corruption is part of a system of government. So we don't have to argue it. So anything corruption, take it. That's what it means. So it's part of the system of our government. So what can ordinary man do? What can ordinary man say? But one thing I want to say is that, you know the house has their mind is at the back. This people don't have human sympathy. Such cannot happen in Yibo land. Such cannot happen in Yoruba land. You only have such in Hausa land. You can hear it in Yoruba and Yibo land. Because these people, their mind is at the back. And that is why Biafans are clamor. Let us divide. Let everybody go their way. If they want to kill themselves, finish. Let them go and kill themselves. What's my fucking business? They can be doing that rubbish in the north. I'm not even complaining again. Anytime I hear those rubbish, I don't complain no, again. We need to complain because uh, there are humans and uh, there are possibilities of extending this criminality and uh, heinous crime to the south, to the east, if not checked. So that is the reason why we must condemn this uh, with all humanity. I want to say confidently, no, not Thanos. They are one kind of people. But well, you may not understand this. There are some kind of people. I will tell you a story that happened to me. There is a beggar. Each time I pass, I'm so passionate about that guy. I used to give him 500, 1,000. That's how I used to give this back. So something happened one day. A misunderstanding as you between me and our man. Very close to the beggar. You know, surprisingly, I saw the beggar rising up to defend his brother. I was surprised. This is a man every day I pass, I give 500, 1,000. And, but I, I just pretended as if I didn't see him. Trust me, they smart me. I pretended. The next time he saw me again, as usual, I put a smile. I just boned my face. Since then, I started boning my face. And each time I did, one day, I was passing, he now called me and said, oh, I said, yes, what's it? He said, I know I said, you are mad. And I reminded him that day. I said, you think I don't see you? You are a foolish soul. I'm just wasting my money on you. That's how I stopped giving the idiot money. What am I trying to say? 
These people don't have conscience. These people are the same set of people that go together with their thoughts. But it's quite unfortunate that the houses don't have brain. That's why you see me. I say, even now, I no longer complain. Because these are the same people. When you are fighting for them, they will tell you why you fight. So they won't let them finish themselves. But uh, you, you, you tend to generalize this. I believe that there are some northerners who are, are vulnerable, who don't like what is happening. But unfortunately, uh, they are weak. They, their voice could not be heard. And uh, their impact could not be felt to avert such. Let me tell you, all northerners are the same. Whether vulnerable or no vulnerable, all of them, they are the same. They reason together. The, the reason why you say the reason together, let them declare something like a kind of war on the person now. You will see the Northerners in group. You will see the Northerners in group. All of them, they are support themselves. That's why both vulnerable ones are not. They are all the same. In as long as you are from North. Like, for instance, someone like me, I don't really associate much with them because I don't see anything good about them. Each time I see Northerners, I don't see what any good thing about them. Even despite the fact you see some people praising how some people are the best. It's a lie. They are the worst. A man who cannot teach his brother how to fish is a bad man. Igbos remain the best. Because they will teach you how to fish. But how some will not teach you. All he wants is for you to be doing rank a day day. Most of them, they, most of you outsiders are listening to my people. They are listening to me now. You will agree that I'm telling you the truth. You prefer somebody to be saying rank a day day, rank a day day, rank a day day. But Igbo man will teach you how to fish. That is why we say remains the best today. Yes, Ibo has that uh, entrepreneurship uh, yes. uh, ability to groom her younger ones yes. and to make them independent and uh, liberal. That's why we're the best today. And that's what I keep telling. So I don't like it. Each time I come across people, they're discussing about who's better. I will say people are nice. I, 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 I say to them, you people are fools. Houses are wicked. Because the only thing you're doing you come, you throw me. They don't even throw good money. That's my problem. They just throw 100 naira, 200 naira. You just go around. Uh, Akara and Coco, food at the Nono. Imagine that you distribute bread. You for that. Bread, you distribute Akara. Can you imagine? Rubbish. Rubbish. I will serve you people. You ask, you people need to wake up. The world is growing far beyond you. So we are all moving. But you guys are still sleeping. One person will come. Say he's helping you. Happy to do what? So that's why when that person offends, they cannot look at him and in the face to tell him, oh God, are you offend? They will all support him. That's what is killing our sons. So I'm even, I used to say something. Each time I say, I'm even angry that our sons are even, they are part of Nigeria. They are not supposed to be part of Nigeria. If not the fact of politics, I would have preferred Igbos and Yorubas. They can, these two people can still manage themselves, but not our sons. That is why I tell you, till the world ends, Hausa man and Ibo man will never agree. But Hausa man and Yoruba man will agree. You can never hear war between Yoruba and Ibo man. But you always hear war between Hausa and, you know, your Ibo. So what I'm trying to say is, Hausa people remains Hausa. Ibo people remains Hausa. But my belief is that one day, Ibo people remains Ibo. The, my, my belief is that one day, Nigeria is going to divide. We are going to have Biafra. Let everybody go and sort yourself out. Your boss keep making noise. Hausa keep making noise. Then, get your independence. Go and build your nation. We are already. And no, no doubt, everybody already knows that. Ibo is going to be their nation. It is a stamp. They have marked us. They know we are going to be their nation. But Hausa's your boss, are you going to be their nation? They cannot. They are afraid. Your boss is the worst. How are they going to start? Outsiders can even jam and jam. Yorubas are the worst. Bunch of lazy people. What are we talking about? But when an Igbo man is talking, you see a Yoruba man shouting, jumping. I laugh. I just look at it. A Yoruba man shouting. Do you know anything? Even apart from this, your mechanic that you learned, you don't know any other thing. Your brain is empty. Even the school that they said you went to, Igbo man is more intelligent than you. So what are we talking about? But you see them, they come out, they make noise. I speak Yoruba fluently. So there's nothing. I only, I've lived in Yoruba land. And I studied them. And I know who they are. Emi Benny. Emi
So some of you may not understand the Yoruba. I just spoke now. Even if you're a Yoruba person, you may not understand it. If you want to go to the church, you will be able to go to the church. You will be able to go to the church. Thank you so much, MC Grammar, for your wonderful submissions. All right. God bless you.